Number 51, Donald Trump. We made this suspected white supremacist list um, way back in the day, back in 2020. Um, we wanted to make a list for all the young cats who are listen to listen to us to navigate. Like, don't fall for these people. You might have your white friends tell you to check these people out, or you may have some black people tell you to check these people out. Be wary of them. Listen to what they what they say, but don't take it, you know, full full hearted. So we'll do the first, the 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 lowest number. Sorry, the highest number is their least severity. So basically, number one is the most worst, and number fifty one is baby compared to all the other stuff. So. Donald Trump. This article was from Vox. Um, 1973, the U.S. Department of Justice under the Nixon administration, out of all administrations, sued the Trump Management Corporation for viol violating their Fair Housing Act. Federal officials found evidence that Trump had refused to rent to black tenants and lied to black applicants about whether apartments were available, among other ap uh, accusations. Trump said the federal government was trying to get him to rent to welfare recipients. In the aftermath, he signed an agreement in 1975 agreeing not to discriminate to renters of color, of color, without admitting to previous discriminations. The note they said of color. Now, this is about black people, but at the end of it, they put of color. Note that they slick. In the 1980s, Kip Brown, a former employee of Trump's castle, accused another one of Trump's business businesses of discrimination. In quote, when Donald and Ivana Ivana came to the casino, the bosses would order all the black people off the floor. Brown said, in quote, it was the 80s. I was a teenager. But I remember it. They put all in the they put all of us in the back. <laughs> 1989. In a conversation case that has been characterized as modern-day lynching, four black teenagers and one Latino teenager, the Central Park Five, were accused of attacking and raping a jogger in New York City. Trump immediately took charge in the case and running an ad in local papers demanding, demanding bring, back death, bring back the death penalty, bring back our police. The teens convicted were later uh, vacated after they spent seven to... 13 years in prison and the city paid 41 million in a settlement to the teens but trump in october 2016 said he still believes they're guilty despite the dna evidence to the contrary see like and like people want to prop up this right here as like see trump's racist yeah he is racist but he's nowhere near the other people on our list yeah he put a lad uh, a ad out to get some black people locked up but you know who's supposed to be strong enough to not let that happen other white people they didn't y'all let him steamroll black people not everyone will act high mighty and holy like they're not the bad guys okay 1991 a book by john o'donnell former president of trump's plaza hotel and casino in atlantic city quoted trump's criticism of black accountant black guys counting my money i hate it the only kind of people i want counting my money are short guys with that where they were yarmulkes every day <laughs> i think that that the guy is lazy and it's probably not his fault because laziness is a trait in blacks it really is i believe that it's not anything they can control trump later said in 1997 playboy interview that the stuff o'donnell wrote about him was probably true see he is racist yeah but once again it took him becoming president for anybody to call any of this stuff out 1992 trump plaza hotel and casino had to pay a two hundred thousand dollar fine because it transferred black black and women dealers off the tables to accommodate a big time gambler's prejudice okay why do you put black and women okay Are they on the same level as black people okay in 1993, a congressional testimony, Trump said that some Native Americans res reservations operating casinos shouldn't be allowed because they don't look like Indians to me. OK, that right there, I can agree with it. Like most of these Native Americans right now are 
five dollar Indian. So he is telling the truth right there. Uh, Two thousand, in in opposition to the casino proposed by the Saint Regis Mohawk tribe, which he saw as a financial threat to his casinos in Atlantic City, Trump secretly ran a series of ads suggesting that tribe had a record of criminality activity that is well documented. Well, um. That is true, but a lot of Native Americans, their um, like their little lands, they like stay on reservations. It, it do be lo- like crime, like because you know they police themselves. In season two of The Apprentice, uh, sorry, two thousand four. In season two of The Apprentice, Trump fired Kevin Allen, a black con- contestant, for being overeducated. You're being unbelievably talented guy in terms of education. In education, and you haven't done anything. Trump said on a show, at some point, you have to say, that's enough. <laughs> okay. 2005, Trump publicly pitched that he essentially, he essentially, the apprentice, white people versus black people. He said he wouldn't particularly, wasn't particularly happy with the most recent season of his show. So he was considering an idea that is fairly controversial, creating a team of successful black African American successful african americans versus a team of successful whites whether people like that idea or not it is somewhat reflective of his vicious world yeah that actually is brilliant that actually would have been really cool i mean unless they as they kept it equal that would actually would have been a great idea for a show in 2010 in 2010 there's a huge national contra- controversy over the ground zero mosque a proposal to build a Muslim community center in the lower Manhattan near the site of 9-11 attacks. Trump proposed a project calling it insensitive and offered to buy out one of the investors in the project. On the late show with uh, David Leonard, Trump argued referring to Muslims, well, somebody's blowing us up, somebody's blowing up buildings, and somebody's doing lo- lots of bad stuff. <laughs> um, no, uh, I do feel that quote. It is insensitive. Why would you build a mosque near... 9-11 I mean I saw I sort of feel I f- sort of sort of understand that one 2011 Trump played a big role in pushing false rumors that Obama the country's first black president was born in the was not born in the U.S. he claimed to send in investigators to Hawaii to look into Obama's birth certificate Obama later released his birth certificate calling Trump a carvino carnival barker what type of man Obama be sounding like a straight up old white man. The researchers has found a strong correlation between birth ri- birthism as a conspiracy theory is called and racism. But Trump has reportedly continued pushing his conspiracy theory in private. While Trump suggested that Obama wasn't born in the U- United States, he also argued that maybe Obama wasn't a good enough student to have gotten into Columbia or Harvard Law School. And the minute Obama released his university transcripts, Trump claimed I heard he was a terrible student. Terrible. How does a bad student go to Columbia and then to Harvard? For many people, none of these incidents, individuals may be damning. One of these alone might suggest that Trump is simply a bad speaker, perhaps racially insensitive, politically incorrect, uh, as he put he would put it, but not over overtly racist. But as they say like But when you put all these events together, a clear pattern emerges. At least at the very least, Trump has a history of playing into people's racism to bolster himself, and that's likely says something about him too. And of course, there's something that happened through the since the presidential campaign. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. This is long. <laughs> yeah, they bringing up the COVID stuff. Um, they just they going in on everything. Uh, Trump said, but yes. The dude here, he suspected, he's a suspected white supremacist. Um, yeah, I mean, he's nothing. This is baby stuff compared to what this dude really, like, what other people really did. They just saying, he, he just said some stuff people didn't like. That's all. You can find all our stuff at SwarthyNerd.com. You can find me at the TV Go Runway on YouTube. You can find me also on Twitter at Super Lost Fan 108. You can find me also on Instagram at TV Guru 108. We will see you in the next part. Later.